So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create twin motion doors like we can see on the left here, uh, compared to the ones that are done in Revit, which you can see on the right here. So first thing I'm going to do is jump straight into Revit. And this is the uh, model that I'll be using. And we can see that's the particular door that we was looking at earlier, the one I'm going to replace. So there's two ways we can do this, and I'll show you both ways. So the first thing I want to do is uh, open it up in Twin Motion. So we go into View, Tab, Open Up in Twin Motion. And then uh, there's two ways of doing this. And I'll show you both ways. Uh, one's very straightforward, um, and the other one just takes a little bit more working with. Just going to get rid of that, so I always do. And then let's try and find these doors again where we were previously. Just slow that down a bit and bring it back. Maybe bring it up a little bit. So these are the two doors here. So one way we can one way we can do it is just to literally click on that door that was. Uh, drawn in Revit and then just hit delete and then it's gone. If I was going to be doing all the doors in this uh, particular project, a um, bit of a pain to have to go around and delete all the doors. So another way of doing it is when you're back in your Revit model, um, in the 3D model that's been twinned, uh, just hit visibility graphics overrides or VV on the keyboard as a shortcut. And then in the model categories, down to doors and uncheck doors, click apply. And you can see all the doors have disappeared off this model. Um, go into Twin Motion and then Auto Sync. And then when we go back, we can now see that um, all the doors have disappeared in this particular project. Yep, because we've synced the two projects together. Uh, so to put doors in, very straightforward. Um, in the library on the left-hand side here, we've got our objects. Click on that. In the bottom right-hand corner down here, we've got our doors. This will be a rotating door. And then we've got different door styles that we can choose. Uh, so I'm just going to choose a simple rotating door. Just drag that in for now. And then you do have to maneuver it around. So I'm going to get it so it sits just above the floor there. And then make sure you grab the green line and then just drag it around. Now, uh, nine times out of ten, it won't fit. So you will need to um, just tweak the size of it. So with the door selected, um, you can see it's in the open position. We can change that and maneuver that around with a thing on the right hand side. So when we start in the properties box up here, we've got a different door style. So we can go in there and we can change the different door styles to whatever uh, particular door that we want. I'm going to stay with this one here. Uh, we can also change things like the handles. So we can have that type of handle, this type of handle, whatever handle type we want, and it just changes it. Same with the casing type, so the architrave around the top. Uh, this is where we can change the width and the height of the door. So if you've got a slight gap down the door, or it's too big or too small, you can change. You can either use the slider left and right, or you can actually type into here the actual size that you want, if you know what the size of the door opening should be. Coming further down, um, we've got our uh, opening style. Now, over here, we've got our behavior. This is quite um, quite a good thing to have in our details down here. So um, we can either have it left or right-handed, so we can change the hand of it. Um, we can have it inward or outward, so depending on which way you want the door to swing. Uh, how far open you want this door, depending on the angle. So we can use the slider, so we can have it so it just opens so far if you want that, or you can have it um, back on itself. Um, or we can just type into there whichever do we want. Now, the behavior down here, we can have it open, so like it is now. We can have it closed, so like it would be in Revit. Or we could have it so it's triggered. And uh, the trigger type, we can either trigger by all of these or any one of these just by clicking on them. Then we've got this trigger radius. So um, if you look here, we've got this blue radius line. And this will get smaller as I move this down. So as I'm no, now no longer in this uh, radius line the door is shut so that's the trigger so then when I drag that forward as soon as I get into within that radius it then opens so um, if we pull that down if I was to be uh, walking around uh, this particular project and I came get with that and I came towards the door you can now see that it's going to open as soon as I get within that trigger radius and then we can just go around and then keep placing different types of doors uh, on each um, particular um, opening that we've made. And that's how you do doors uh, into InMotion. 